Hi guys, welcome to another Beardy Butcher Air Review. Um, today I've got something a little bit different for you. As we're having such nice weather at the minute, I thought I'd do a nice summertime um, beer for you. And this one, in fact, is an organic real lager. Now this is coming from Laverstuck Park Farm. Um, I picked this up in a local Waitrose today. There's the cap. Um, there's a lot of writing on this bottle, so I'm going to all of it. Basically, um, this is one was being voted the best British organic lager, um, made with barley and hops from our farm. Um, the farm is in Laverstoke Park, uh, Overton, so um, quite local to where I am as well. We've got a Taste Gold sign on there as well. Um, at the bottom it's quite nice, it says good soil equals good grass equals good animals equals good meat and milk equals happy people. So it's definitely rings true for me as well. So there we go. It's quite a nice little bottle, hence why I picked it up, sort of caught my eye anyway. Um, I've not really had a lot of um, what they call real lagers, sort of, you know, not your bog standard what you get in the pubs. Um, so it be quite an experience for me. Um, quite sad to be honest, I haven't got a clue what to expect, so let's get into it, shall we, and uh, see how it goes. So we'll give it a pop. There we go. A little bit of smoke on there. There's the cap for you guys. Bent it up a little bit. Right. Get it in a nice little glass, shall we? And give it a pour. Sort of. It's definitely got a lager smell to it, to be honest. I'm getting slight hops, but nothing. Nothing, you know, nothing amazing on there, but we'll give it a go anyway. We'll give it a pour, see how we go. Very light, sort of, lager colour, as expected. Um, quite a lot of carbonation, as I thought. Um, quite a light golden colour to be honest. Um, it's kind of a little bit cloudy as well, if you can see that, if I can put my hand up to it. It's a little bit cloudy, which is something different, but um, anyway, let's give it a nose, shall we? Okay. I'm getting a bit of hops, but only, like I said, a little bit of hops to be honest. Nothing, nothing's actually coming out at me. Sort of, there's a little bit of a biscuit note, a little one, sort of, it's like a digestive biscuit that you've crushed up in your hands and sort of, you know, you sniffed it. A bit of acidity, a bit of, a bit of citrus, just a, a faint lemon, sort of fresh lemon peel on it. A little bit soapy, to be honest, a bit of a soap on the nose, but anyway. Let's give it a go guys, um, haven't got a clue so cheers. Oh, wow, that has surprised me. Wow. Mm. That, <laughs> from the nose and probably from my, how I was speaking, you can probably guess I wasn't expecting anything from this but there's a, Big sweet note straight at the start, sort of. You've got a caramel, sort of toffee flavour. You've got you've got big citrus. You've got almost grapefruit, sort of, from the hops. Um, lemon zest, lime zest. There's there's a sort of a there's almost a, a chocolate orange taste at the back. And now. That big biscuit maltness is coming out again. I'd, I'd <laughs> flabbergasted. We've got that is so complex for what smells to me like quite a basic lager. I mean, with a few little notes, like I say, but the taste it's like I'll tell you what it is when you get um, a creme brulee, you smack the top and you eat the crispy bit. The burnt sugar, that's what I'm getting, that sweet, first sweet note on there, that's what it is. And then you've got the cut of the citrus, like I say, the grapefruit and the lime. A sort of chocolate orange straight at the back of the throat that I've got going. There's a, the biscuit maltiness. That is delicious. That is has surprised me more than any of the beer I think I've had in a long time. And now, as it is sitting in the glass, and now I've tasted it, also I'm getting more notes on the nose. I'm getting a bit of that sort of 
orange sort of chocolate sweetness in there. I'm getting definitely more of the sugar sweetness as well as I'm giving it a good sniff. But, mmm, that is so refreshing as well. On a day like today, it's so hot outside. That is absolutely delicious. I guarantee you guys, you need to get out yourself. I mean, Waitrose is where I got it from. Not seen it anywhere else, but I'm sure you could find. They've got a website as well, which is www.lavastuckpark.co.uk. This is the organic real lager, 4.5%. Go out there, guys. Give that a go. I mean, it's just really, really surprised me. I wasn't expecting to like it. I don't... Well, I used to say I didn't like lagers. I do. Real lagers, very, very good. Check these guys out. Get yourself a bottle. Drink it. I had this slightly chilled. Definitely, you know, benefited from being slightly chilled. Give it a go. Absolutely amazing. So, when we think about giving this one a mark, I mean... I don't have a baseline. This is the baseline now for all my real lagers that I'm going to try. So, like I say, it, it took me by a complete surprise. Let's give it an 8. Let's give it an 8 because from the nose, I was expecting to hate it or to at least have some sort of bad, you know, bad review for it and, and being saying, oh, it's a bad one, but you get bad ones. But no, absolutely cracking. It's surprised me. It's given me a sort of a passion now to go out and find some more of these real lagers and, and give them a go. I want to I want to investigate. I want to see what there is out there. So, you know, definitely, this is a good start for me to get onto this sort of track of the real lagers. So, um, yeah, 8 out of 10, guys. It's absolutely it blown me away, as you can tell. So, it's a bit gassy, though. Excuse me. Um, get you out there, guys. Get you one while it's still this lovely summer weather outside. But equally, don't chill it, drink it in the autumn, even in the winter, it'd be just as good with the sweetness in this and the sort of, the thick sort of dark sort of, um, the sugar, the burnt sugar and the lovely chocolate orange, perfect any time of the year to be honest, but while it's hot, get yourself on, chill it, drink it in the garden, enjoy. Let me know if any of you have ever tasted this and see what you think, I love it. And uh, as always guys, cheers to the brewery. Cheers to you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.